In Plata State, a community is mourning. Uh, we brought you the story earlier that uh, Boko's local government area witnessed the killing of at least eight individuals uh, via an attack by suspected um, hoodlums. Uh, today, uh, we also told you that a neighboring community, um, gunmen there, also killed at least 14 individuals. We want to take a look at this uh, development. Um, I'm joined now by the national president, Beron Youth's Molder Association, uh, legal practitioner, Dalyop Solomon Mwatiri. Thank you very much, Dalyop, for joining us. My pleasure to be here once again. What is the current situation in Plateau following the recent attacks um, in the MTV community and neighboring community? Well, at the moment, uh, within that general area, there is a relative calmness, even though uh, tension is still high due to the some elements, suspicious elements of the attackers coming to uh, re-attack those uh, villages and communities. But of course, uh, the, the update available as at uh, two hours ago is that the villages and communities in Barikiladi and Rium local government, and uh, Barikiladi and Bokos local government uh, have witnessed the loss of uh, 100 and 13 people just last night to this morning. That's quite unfortunate. Um, how effective? Uh, we, we saw in an earlier report the commendation of troops. Um, no doubt they're doing some work, but how effective are those that have now been deployed uh, to secure the affected um, area, to your knowledge? Of course, since we have not heard of any attack after the one of last night, it therefore means the troops on ground are already taking proactive measures against the recurrence of this dastardly act of terrorism that has been unleashed on innocent people within that general area. And of course, uh, the, this wouldn't have come by magic but it's because of the deliberate and proactive effort of the uh, GOC who doubles as the commander of operation safe heaven in person of General A.E. Abdul Salam, who has been up and doing. In short, almost all the distress calls we have put to him, he responded and uh, uh, we've, we've seen results. Because I, I remember last night at about 10 p.m., some of the escapees who encamped in one of the villages were crying out for uh, rescue. And immediately, I personally placed a call to the GOC. And within s some short minutes, a few minutes, uh, the escapees called me that indeed security have come for their rescue. So, of course, the security have been up and doing. However, they need to redouble their efforts so that the recurrence of this will not even come to bear. Because, of course, there are areas that security couldn't reach. And it's because of the poor road network. And then, of course, the distance, you know, before reaching out to where those distress calls are coming from. So these are some of the factors that actually led to the high number of people killed. And then, of course, in some of the areas, we also call on the security to really wake up to their responsibility. Because if there are they are a boss, the general uh, you know, officer is up and doing. Then the foot soldiers on ground should be seen, you know, matching up, you know, with the order given to them. That are done, you know, uh, not uh, 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 cooperating and then complying with the order. And okay. of course, we also commend the effort of the sector four commander, who is in charge of Barikila, the Colonel U.S. Abdul Salam. That man has also been doing wonderfully well. Otherwise, you know, uh, uh, there would have been high number of casualties recorded than what we already have. I mean, how concerned are you about the welfare of these communities that have been affected by this renewed violence? Um, is there any assistance that has been provided 
uh, to them, uh, to your knowledge, especially this period that is supposed to be festive? In short, it is, it, is, it is quite appalling and very devastating that on the plateau, you know, instead of celebrating Christmas as it happens in other places, we have been subjected to a state of mourning that had never happened like this in a Christmas, you know, day, that we are mourning. And then, of course, the people have not received any assistance, having prepared everything to ensure that you know, children celebrate Christmas. You know that uh, 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 children cherish Christmas more than any other thing. And then, of course, these are children that were now exposed to this kind of terror attacks unleashed on them. Of course, there is high number of um, uh, displacement from not less than 11 villages between uh, Barikiladi and Bokos. And then, of course, we've not received a report or or seeing any assistance or aid coming to these people, unless it will come this night. However, we are hopeful that, you know, with the responsible leadership we have in place in the state, there will definitely be, you know, uh, material, food material intervention and other right. uh, psychosocial support. All right, Dalia, thank you very much for speaking with us, and uh, I'll share your hope as well that some assistance gets to the community. Thank you. Thank you.